the Shangring male circumcision device surgical training mobile application, an innovative and multi-language learning platform. Voluntary medical male circumcision has been shown to reduce HIV incidence in men by 50-60% to 60 in randomized clinical trials in Africa. Male circumcision also reduces the incidence of other sexually transmitted infections, cervical and penile cancers, in addition to having the immediate benefit of reducing urinary tract infections, phimosis, and balanitis in younger individuals. Given these data, the WHO and UNAIDS have recommended the inclusion of voluntary medical male circumcision as part of their HIV prevention strategies. As a result, 14 Sub-Saharan African countries have begun the scale-up of male circumcision services in 2011. However, less than half of the goal of circumcision procedures has been achieved by the year 2016. This was found to be due to the inherent challenges in resource-poor settings such as the lack of medical resources and trained healthcare providers to perform conventional surgical male circumcision procedures. This has led the WHO and UNAIDS to set forth two fast-track targets to achieve 27 million circumcisions by the year 2021 with emphasis on younger age groups ranging from 10 to 29 years of age. Device-assisted male circumcision has been proposed as the tool to achieve this target. The Shangring is a single-use disposable male circumcision device that consists of two plastic interlocking concentric rings a silicon padded inner ring and an outer ring. Since 2006, the Shang ring has been safely used to circumcise over 1.6 million men and boys worldwide. And in addition to its WHO pre-qualification, the device is FDA approved and has also acquired the European Conformity CE mark back in 2010. Shang ring male circumcision can be performed with either the original flip technique or the new and innovative no flip technique using topical or injectable anesthesia. The Shangring can facilitate safe task shifting from physicians to non-physician healthcare providers due to the simplicity of the procedure. The WHO had reviewed Shangring data from numerous studies and evaluated its safety and acceptability, where it was found that the device is safe and effective in over 99% of patients with no serious complications. In our fast-paced world nowadays, smartphones are heavily relied on to fetch information instantaneously especially through applications that are currently used in medical practice by almost half of physicians that carry a mobile device, as has been reported. Having a straight-out-of-the-pocket guide or manual readily available can be of great utility for both educational and practical purposes. Given this notion, urologists and researchers from Wild Cornell Medical College and the Population Council have created the Shangring Mobile and Tablet app to be used as a learning platform and reference for medical healthcare providers, especially in resource-poor settings, following proper hands-on training. The app was designed, coded, and structured based on contents that were gathered from the official Shangring Instructions Manual, the WHO Instructions for Use document, and from clinical trials that the Shangring had taken part of over the past years. The Shangring Surgical Training app primarily consists of six main sections. The fundamental section is the first and perhaps the most essential one of the app as it delineates how to prepare for and perform Shangring male circumcision procedure with both of its techniques. It also shows how to use either topical or injectable anesthesia and the two methods of device removal which are planned day 7 removal method and spontaneous self-detachment of the device. This section contains an abundance of offline videos, pictures and illustrations to guide the user. As with any other procedure, common mistakes may be encountered. In this section, two mistakes and how to prevent each is thoroughly explained by using text, instructive images, and offline videos. Those mistakes being wrongful device size measurement and the inadequate application of the topical anesthetic. The wound healing section depicts in live pictures the normal changes in tissue features at different intervals following Shangring circumcision from post-op day 2 till complete wound healing has been achieved, which is normally expected to occur from 5 to 7 weeks following the procedure. Prevention and management is the fourth section of the app, which discusses the different adverse events which may be encountered during the post-operative period and how to manage each of them. Aside from pain and bleeding and how to manage each, live pictures are provided for each adverse event, namely edema, wound disruption or separation, and infection to show the user how they actually appear.
Post-operative instructions are essential following any procedure. This section comprises all instructions that the healthcare provider must present the patient with following Zhang Wing circumcision, including how to manage while the device is still in place and how the wound should be managed following device removal or self-detachment. Special warnings for healthcare providers about the device can also be found. The last section is made up of two calculators. The first is the Shang Ring Size Selection Calculator, where it can show the proper size of the Shang Ring to be selected for a particular patient by entering the inner ring diameter. And the second calculator provides the safest maximum dose of injectable anesthetic based on the patient's weight in kilograms. In conclusion, the Shangring Surgical Training application is the first of its kind. By being simple and user-friendly, it can significantly aid healthcare providers when planning to learn and perform Shangring circumcision. It is an additional learning tool that can effectively contribute to the efforts of male circumcision services in resource-poor regions such as Sub-Saharan Africa. And finally, the application should always be regarded as an adjunct tool and not the sole teaching platform for Shangring male circumcision, but should only be used following proper and sufficient hands-on training.